welcome all let's go with today's session that is aoa introduction today we'll know how aoa is basically done between two pira devices and then we'll introduce on uh, the some of the frames that is used uh, in a two way ranging and then get to know typically what is uh, aoa elevation and azimuth uh, definitions angle of arrival is based on phase difference of arrival method which is typically called pdoa method and in two way ranging pdoa calculation is done using phase difference between the two antenna of a received signal so generally when you have to do aoa you use uh, two antennas and care should be taken in such a way that these two antennas are spaced out on the hardware at lambda by 2 so which is uh, uh near to 18.8 mm uh, for a channel line as an example now in this picture what you see is that there are two antenna on a mobile device and if you just zoom out the actual physical placement that you see the d is actually the lambda by 2 and then it, there is an anchor over here where there are series of request response signaling is done when the response message is received on the phone rx1 and rx2 there is always some difference the next slide we'll see uh, how angle of arrival in principle is calculated now if you consider a radio signal sent from a distance trans transmitter which arrives at two antennas it can be seen from the geometry depicted uh, here you have rx1 and rx2 they are spaced at distance d then the signal coming to rx1 signal coming to rx1 there is a part difference that is denoted as p now if you see the typical uh, uh, sine wave over here the angle of arrival is then calculated with lambda is equal to 2 pi c by f which is f is the carrier frequency and c denotes the speed of light and then delta time delta t is the time difference between the signal arriving at two antenna now if you take a look at this equation and then you transpose then you finally arrive at this uh, method to calculate the theta which is the angle of arrival from that particular anchor in a two way ranging uh, the way you can do angle of arrival for an ieee frame is you can also look into the final message that is from the initiator so you have typical rcm pole response final and final data on a responder side when it receives the final message it can then look into the ieee frame and then calculate the pdo pdoa and then arrive at the angle of arrival when we talk about angle of arrival angle of arrival in a 3d space involves both elevation and azimuth here on a phone when you hold a phone to your face with the screen uh, in a portrait mode the x axis is the horizontal display axis of the phone then the y axis is the vertical display uh, axis on the phone then the z axis is the orthogonal to the phone's display and the definition of elevation is the elevation angle is the relative angle between the exit plane and the incoming signal so in this direction if there is an incoming signal from the target the elevation is calculated between x and z angle then azimuth angle is the relative angle between the z axis and the in incoming signal projected on the exit plane it is zero on the z axis it is positive towards the x in clockwise direction and it is negative towards the x in the counter clockwise direction right so that is how uh, uh, aoa azimuth is calculated so this is about uh, today's uh, introduction on aoa thank you all for watching and if you want to learn more please visit uh, firawet page for details thank you